Algebra 1, number 2.5e, we're going to talk about subsets of rational numbers. A set is a well-defined collection of objects, and the objects inside the set are called elements, or members of the set, and are listed inside of braces. So if we had a set of dogs, we could say that a different type of dog, like a beagle, or a poodle, or a German shepherd, would be a subset of the set of dogs. When one set is listed inside of another set, it's called a subset. Natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers are subsets of rational numbers. So the natural numbers, those are positive integers. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it would just be the numbers that would continue up from that and get larger and larger into infinity. And we could say n equals, and with the braces, on each side, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we put this ellipsis, that's what the dot, dot, dot is, it's called an ellipsis, and that tells us that it continues on, that this is our set of natural numbers. Now, whole numbers, those are natural numbers in 0, whole numbers would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so it would be all the natural numbers, and we're adding a 0. So, the natural numbers are a subset of the whole numbers because all of them are inside of this set. So W would be the name of the whole number set. We use a capital letter. W is equal to the set of whole numbers. It's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it would continue on up into infinity. Integers, that's all whole numbers, so that means it includes the natural numbers. Integers are negative and positive numbers including 0. So whole numbers, because they have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, are a subset of the integers. See? And the symbol, it's sort of like an E, but it's got more of a curve to it. It's, it's longer. That symbol is read as, is an element of. So we could write negative 3 is an element of integers. See? The set of integers, because it is. Negative 3 is an element of the set of integers. When all the elements of a set are included within another set, it's a subset. And this symbol, it's kind of like a C, except it's longer and stretched. This symbol is read as is a subset of. So we could say n, the natural numbers, is a subset of w. Set n is a subset of set w. See that? All right. So n is a subset of w. The natural numbers are a subset of the whole numbers. And w is a subset of i. The whole numbers are a subset of the integers. And then we've got i is a subset of r. If r is the rational numbers, integers are a subset of rational numbers. And I don't know if you've seen all my videos, if you're a regular subscriber, you have, but in video 2.2c, I made this drawing in this Algebra 1 playlist, and it shows how the real numbers, that's all rational and irrational numbers, can include all of these other ones. They include rational numbers, irrational numbers, the negative and positive integers, the whole numbers, and the natural numbers. And the rational numbers include all of these, integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers. Integers include the whole numbers and natural numbers. The whole numbers include the natural numbers. See how each one includes the other? Because these four are a subset of the real numbers. And if we have an empty set, or null set, it's a set that has no elements in it. An empty set or null set symbolizes zero. Now, have you ever seen nesting dolls? They have these real cute Russian nesting dolls, and they open up right in the middle here, and you can take the top off, and you can fit this smaller one inside of that one. They all fit inside of each other. What you do is you open this one and put this little one inside, and then you open and put this one inside of this one, and this one inside of this one, and this one inside of this one, and then they're all nesting inside of each other. Well, that's the way the subsets are. This little one would be the natural numbers, like 1, 2, and 3, and inside of it, inside of this whole numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3 would be the natural numbers. Inside of the one with integers, which is the positive and negative numbers, would be the whole numbers and the natural numbers. 
Inside of the rational numbers, the fractions and decimals would be the integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers. And inside of the real numbers, which are rational and irrational numbers, irrational numbers are like pi. They're like decimals that go on forever and ever. And they just, you can't write them like a fraction. That would include all of these. See, so it's kind of like nesting dolls. That's what subsets are, okay? So, now you understand the symbols. Remember, this long E stands for the element. It looks like an E. And this long C is stands for subset, okay? So when you see these symbols and you see this with a capital letter and these braces, you know that means it's a set. And if you see that, you see it's a subset of, okay? All right. So that is the end of our unit on multiplication of rational numbers. And we're going to move on to 2.6a, and we're going to talk about division of rational numbers. All right? So I hope everyone's doing all right. And uh, keep your chin up. And let me know if this video helped you. And I'll see you on the next video, Dividing Rational Numbers. Bye.